RIT is wrapping up a five-day short course on integrated circuit fabrication. RIT has offered this type of educational training for more than 30 years. Twelve engineers working for various firms across the United States and in other countries are learning the latest concepts in the area of nanotechnology. In a lot of cases, if they're an equipment company, it may give them some new insights or applications, potential markets that they can help their company expand into. Uh, we have a gentleman here that, from an iron implantation company, that's why he's here. Um, other companies may be looking for uh, better imaging chips to put into their cameras and things like that. The idea is to keep these workers up to date on the latest concepts. It's also intended to help them become more creative and innovative. I have about five or ten years of experience in the silicon fab that's old experience from 1980s and uh, it was, felt it was fairly important to become current. Uh, see how things have changed over the years and it turns out that some of the things are exactly what we used to do 30 years ago and some of them are completely different. Some of the students came from as far away as India and Singapore. They're finding that concepts used here are more advanced than back home. We don't do fabrication, we do a lot of equations and maths and chemistry and physics of how these things are done. But in India, they don't do much of manufacturing of these devices. Five students are here on scholarship from the Rochester Regional Photonics Accelerator. It's funded through a grant that supports workforce training in any aspect of optics, imagery, and photonics. The scholarships are part of a $2 million grant secured by the Centers for Emerging and Innovative Sciences housed at the University of Rochester. For some, taking this course wouldn't be possible without that financial support. My company has cut back like a lot of companies on uh, funding for training and so forth, so it really helps offset that cost. Many of the concepts used in this five-day course are being put to use by firms at Eastman Business Park. Mike Hedin, YNN.